Good morning, YouTubers. Uh, today I want to walk you through a bike that I've been lucky enough to ride a lot. Uh, and I just got off it right now, which is why I'm going to maintain this commuter morning. Uh, a lot of times I ride a hardtail mountain bike as my commuter. Um, today I'm riding this custom bike behind me that is part of a collective that I am a member of. Uh, this collective supports artists and athletes and builders and makers of all sort and this was a team bike that is basically a bike share for the crew. Um, I was the one to build it up uh, and actually some of my spare mountain bike parts went on it. Uh, since I seem to be riding it the most as the commuter, I'll walk you through it. It has been on a few like graffiti missions and uh, beach days and all kinds of stuff uh, in the hands of some of the other collective members. So there's paint and sand and that's kind of the whole point. It's, it's there for us to play and to try and get work done. And so far it's doing a totally awesome job of exactly that. So let's walk through the bike. What we're looking at uh, started its life as a 2018 specialized roll one by comp. So initially this was a like fancy comfort hybrid with some silly riser bars and a suspension seat post and a saddle that Specialized calls the cup, which uh, unfortunately does exactly what its namesake says it does. Uh, so those things went up immediately. What we ended up making is kind of a modern adaptation of a rigid mountain bike like 80s rigid mountain bike, which I argue is probably one of the best commuters, commuter builds you can possibly put together. But we wanted something new. We had some donations and a decent budget to do it. And because we are so well connected with local bike shops and specialized in particular, we got a really good deal to make kind of like our dream come true bike. Uh, it's going to keep changing over time as other collective members make their adaptations and uh, fit requests and such, but this is for the most part how it's going to live its life. It's a 650B wheel set. Uh, this is running a Specialized Nimbus, which is a low pressure kind of commuter style tire, frankly, with a hell of a lot of puncture protection. This is 2.3, 650 by 2.3. Aluminum frame. You can see even the geometry is reminiscent of older totally rigid mountain bikes. This is a size medium to try and accommodate most of the people in the collective. No doubt, as its name refers to, it's one by drivetrain runs Shimano Dior with a clutch that, why even turn it off, just run the clutch all the time. Uh, 11 to 40 in the cassette. Aluminum frame, all sorts of rad mounts. The first changes that happened here were parts of mine from an old mountain bike build. Uh, Whiskey Parts Co. Carbon Flat Bars with a 25 millimeter sweep, back sweep, and carbon seat post. I also had a old Cannondale mountain bike saddle lying around that is just stupid comfortable, so that went on it too. We added, again from Specialized, the front rack. That's their pizza rack, which if you think it's cool, you better get one soon. They're hard to come by, and I think they got like 50 of them. Um, but we'll walk through it in more detail. You can see the double kickstand. That was a kind of day one thing too. I, I knew that giving it to so many different riders, it was just gonna end up on the ground and shit, and that's just not good. A little California rain last week. We got hooked up with this Defender. Totally adjustable and radical fender uh, for our little California rain from Topeak. This thing adjusts in all sorts of rad ways. Uh, quick release so we can mount it on other team bikes if need be or just take it off so that one of our knucklehead collective riders doesn't get it jacked. 150 lumens, insane bright uh, Saigo light tail light. Here's our Cannondale saddle, trying to accommodate everybody. Whiskey seat post. Let's take a look at our one by drivetrain. Like we wanted a good bike but not so good that we were gonna have like major theft issue or if one of the members broke something that it couldn't be easily replaced. 
The only thing really on it that's definitively mine, other than the parts that I contributed, is this bag. Uh, this is my everyday bag from Roadrunner, who make arguably the best bags on the planet, handmade in Los Angeles. They make everything, like everything that I have that goes in something else, that in something else is made by Roadrunner. Really, really, really love their bags. Our messengers on the team use their bags. Awesome stuff. Sticks tail light for a little blinky action out front from Surface. This is their Elum 1500 with a kind of ghetto mount that one of our team mechanics threw together in like two minutes during that rain. That'll get changed, but I like the idea is good. The idea is on point. Specialized pizza rack, super dope. Oh, these are okay. So uh, another member put on this LED strip uh, during Christmas time. Not sure where the battery pack is now, but it looks like the lights haven't come off. Standard pedals from Specialized, just regular comfort stuff. Those might get changed, we'll see. All in all, it's a really good bike. We have Tektro hydraulic disc brakes. Here's our shifter for our one by Dior setup. You can really see um, the goal here was the the inspiration of the classic Ridge and mountain bikes. Really, really just makes sense as a commuter. Uh, you can see it's more aggressive than any comfort hybrid you've seen. So after the frame and the tires, I, I would lose the title comfort hybrid altogether. It's dope. It, it's been on a couple little like wood chip trails and such. Why not go do Catalina or something? Even little techie bits that Specialized came up with. This makes sense for the comfort commuter kind of thing. Um, these valve caps, let's see if I can get a good focus here. These valve caps are low pressure indicators. So while these can run a nice low pressure, someone might forget to inflate it to at, that, at least that minimum. How easy is that? Turns red when it's too low, pops up green when it's good. The details here are really, really nice. This is just a solid bike. Custom build 2018 specialized roll. Built and ridden for and by and with Death Wish Collective.